All right, Link. I'm here at uh, 7069 Murillo. Um, I've had a gander through the house. Um, yeah, it's going to need some updating for sure. I don't want to burst your bubble because I know this is your top choice, but uh, mm, for the price, uh, I'd be speculating. So I'm not going to say anything, but I think the one in San Marcos, Acadia, going to be better for this. We'll see. Okay. As we know, this is 2,200 some odd square feet. I'd have to look at it again. It's four bed with a, um, I'm going to just do a, a, what's it called, a panoramic around the neighborhood here. So it's nice up here. Alga Hills, as I told you, the other one is right around the corner, but they don't have any showings until uh, Saturday. I can't remember the name of that one. The one that's 799 This one's $779. Um, so nice, uh, nice neighborhood. Has the HOA, has the pool, $135 HOA. Two car garage. So I'm going to walk in and kind of show you what's going on in here. And we'll move on. So, walk in the front door. First thing, I do like the fact that there's uh, hard surfaces down here. So that's a laminate flooring. And, uh, that's better than having carpet, I think, right when you're in your entryway, so it's all hard surfaces downstairs. Um, that might be the most bearish carpet known to mankind. All the carpet's gonna have to be replaced uh, upstairs and on those stairs, of course. Uh, you're gonna need the paint in here um, and probably some cabinet work as well. So let's go, uh, walk through here to the left first. So you walk in, uh, laundry room's over here. I'm not going to talk, take you back into the garage. It's a two-car garage. He's got a check, chuck full of stuff. Um, I checked out the water heater. Water heater looks okay. Not new, not too old. Um, there's no air conditioning in here. To the best of my knowledge, I'd have to check. Um, so you're going to need a full paint in here. That's three, four grand right there. Four grand, let's say. So this is technically a bedroom. Um, they're using it as an office. And they've... Uh, They've gotten rid of the closet here and put these shelves in. So in order to market it as a four bedroom for Diana, we'd have to put the um, closet doors back on there. I mean, if it were me and I was in charge, I would market it as a four bedroom. But uh, Diana is a stickler for the rules, which is what keeps us out of trouble, as we know. Um, and I'm not hiding anything because I do share this video with her. So here's the full bathroom back here. Uh, that would go with like the first, uh, first floor bed. Everything looks fine, looks, looks clean and nice enough. You'd probably put uh, shower doors on there as we always do to keep the, the water from running into the walls, okay? So this is your uh, kind of like recreation area, rec room, call it, fireplace over there. Again, hard surfaces. It's not the nicest stuff in the world, but it's laminate, it's bulletproof, so. Actually, yeah, I think that's laminate. Might be, might be. Um, can't even tell. Yeah, it's laminate. Um, nice tile on the on the on the floors in here. Uh, the kitchen gonna need some updating. The this tile actually is less horrendous than some of the tiles that we do see. I'm not a tremendous fan. If you can see, there's a bit of a pattern in there. Um, I'm not a tremendous fan of it, but actually it looks pretty nice. I don't think we'd have to do anything with the countertops. I think if we if we paint those cabinets and put some hardware on them, that's gonna look good. Um, so good and bad here. It's like you got these big giant windows over top of the over top of the sink. Everybody everybody likes that, um, but it does look pretty dirty. It gets dirty from these trees back here. So look at this backyard. I mean, like if, if you're a pot smoking hippie, this is like a paradise, man. It looks like uh, uh, one of those Rasta yards in. Uh, Jamaica that I used to frequent when I lived in New York so I could go there and get high for five days and then go back to New York um, pretty much looks like that that's the way the guy's got it set up um, so it would take a little bit of cleaning up back here um, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's bad I just think it needs to be better taken care of and and be uh, um, and be cleaned up a little bit but you don't really have any grass area not that that bothers too many people these days and there's a lot of people who don't want to have to water the grass so it's kind of a, depending on what kind of rental you get in there, whether they'd like that or not. You clean it up back there. I think it's actually quite nice. And I do like the fact that you sit up 
up over these houses here. It's always better to be looking down on your neighbors rather than having them look down on you. So, um, not bad. Uh, we'll go upstairs. So we'll come back around here. That's you do this full circle. And up these green carpeted stairs. And I thought this was actually going to be four bedrooms up here. There's only three. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, so we're going to the master first. It's a good size master. The, the, um, the carpet's not in terrible shape, but it's going to have to be replaced. Um, so this is the master. And this is what I was talking about, this alcove in the master. So, you know, people like this to set it up like this as a different, different, uh, a, a different area. Uh, comes in really handy when you have baby. You can put the put the baby in there, um, in the crib and stuff like that. Multiple uses for that. Now, as we find sometimes, there's this carpeting in the bathroom here. Since we're replacing all the carpeting anyway, I would recommend that if you bought this to put hard surface in here, like a vinyl planking. Diane will take care of that. It's slightly more expensive than carpet, but not by a ton. I would definitely do it, and I would actually put that in this hallway too. Uh, that's a discussion for a later time in case you bid on this place. The tiles match the tiles on the tub, match the tiles downstairs and the tiles in the kitchen and the tiles on there. And you can see, this is a good look-see. These cabinets have been painted white. That's what it would look like in the kitchen if you did the same thing. So you put some uh, little bit of hardware on those things and I think you're in business. All right. Um, so there's a double, double-sided uh, What's it called? It's closets there, so plenty of closet space. Again, there's that alcove. And then just the two bedrooms back here. I could pop into this bathroom here real quick. So, uh, again, same stuff. They painted the cabinets here. Um, the tile's the same, looks fine. And the lights, look at the tub. The tub's in good shape. No major, but again, we probably want to get rid of that bar and put the glass in there. You know what I know, dog. Um, so then the two the two back bedrooms, right here, one and two. Okay. My gut tells me for the price and for everything including the HOA, that uh, the one up in San Marcos is going to be better, uh, even if this was updated, but I just don't really know what the rent commands here in Alga Hill, so it's going to depend on that. I'm going to take a look at the two up in San Marcos, and again, the other one around the corner, whose name I can't remember, isn't open until Saturday, but uh, it's going to be the exact same floor plan as this, maybe in a little better shape. Okay, later.